All right, Mike. Um, okay, you say you got rid of, or you already did this. Sixteen nine. What I found out is, oh, I'm sorry, go back. Because you're working four three. This is basically what you're looking at in Sony Vegas. Okay, this right here. Hold on. This is four three footage. This is standard definition footage. And there's two types of 4.3 footage. There's PAL and there's NTSC. This one is, is NTSC. That's the US and North America. This standard, I'm oh sorry. This is NT or it's PAL, it's slightly wider around the edges and this is obviously what happens when you put uh, SD footage in a HD project it's always going to show the sides that's just the way it works and one way to get rid of that is to put in an animated background and this city is a shot that was done in HD so this is a pure HD footage as you can see right here. Um, this is the project size. My bad. Hold on. Let me show you. Yeah. See, this is 720, 420, and this is 725, 76. This is how you know if you're working with your NTSC footage or PAL footage. PAL footage is 576. Uh, wide and NTSC is 480 because uh, this 480 is actually the pixel revolution of a standard definition TV set the kind that we all had you know when we were kids you know, growing up and the 576 that's the resolution of European TV sets they're slightly wider than US so what I was saying if you want depending on what your footage is you could just put in a, a really cool animated background you know just have that you know appear in the background of your footage and you know it won't affect it it'll just make it look really cool and then maybe in Vegas uh, probably at the track or at the uh, event level put so type of like a little blur and I'm sorry not not the event level the track level at the track level put maybe like a little shadow or something so it has like a little nice effect and you do that by going to track motion uh, make sure the lock accent ratio and scale about center is locked scale it down just a little bit you don't have to just I mean, here in America, what they're doing is they're taking this footage and they're basically doing this. They're putting this flat footage around, you know, right on top of HD and then putting animated backgrounds in the background. But, you know, you could put like a little shadow on the side and make it look really, really cool or glow to add more effect. Um, as far as DVD architect is concern, concerned, when you bring it in to DVD architect, what you're going to do, you're going to take your video, once you start it, you got a little 69 thing going here, take your video, put it on your menu, drag it either here or here, wherever you want it, and then go directly into the video, and you'll see that even though it scales to 69, you'll still see the little sidebars here and this is again because the D the DVD standard um, regardless of the aspect the resolution is always 720 here in America but what I found if you set it from the NTSC 480 to 704 NTSC what you're doing is you're squishing the sides a little bit and then pop the sides of the videos will go away 
and what you can you know, one other thing you can also try using getting used to this is when you're in Vasers hit the overlay button and you'll see what's called safe areas this is a really good way of using to determine what your video will look like when it's on a TV this is HD right here and this is um, is the I think this is NT's I can't remember I can't remember which is which um, I think this is the outer edge is standard definition for America and I think this is I don't know what the um, the center one means I can't remember but when I did my Blackberry video I adjusted my images to the outer edge area and this is why my video is short perfectly and this is what uh, network broadcasters and television stations are doing now they always have this active if you go into DVD architect you'll notice that when you go into the preview current you'll see that it's there you'll see the safe area is already active so this is what you're actually going to see on the screen this is right here everything on the outside is for a PC delivery but if you're going to deliver the TV since you're making a DVD then you have to keep everything inside the outermost edge or the innermost edge depending on the, the type of TV you're delivering to okay so as you can see it's inside both edges and what you could do is you could even use this to scale it down so that it fits really perfectly inside those areas so we could go for example to say if we were to take all these and group them I don't know if it'll work at a group level but here's one way you can do it in Vegas make everything a child of the other or rather make yeah that's right make everything a child of the other and then go into parent motion and then use the parent motion size to size everything inside the safe area so I guess do that go 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 you know just size it squeeze squeeze come on get in there uh, let's get in there. Let's get. There you go. And we're going to do the same. And this dude didn't make sure because I think she's too far in. Oh, I didn't make sure. And that's. Uh, oops. That's why. Okay, I see what I did wrong. Well. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, I gotta make sure I have everyone. So I can do this all at once. There we go. So, as you can see now, everything is inside the safe area. But you might want to try to keep it just slightly out of the area. So what's going to happen is, but I mean, you try to get it so as close as you can, as close as you can. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to keep it like this. Um, do a quick render. Um, a different name because do the architect won't let me. Ah, uh, oh crap! This is going to take two minutes. Alright, so let me pause the video and come back to you. Um, just make sure that when you're doing this to make sure that you have the parent transform at the beginning of the track. Because you can see there's going to be some animation going on here. Very slight, you know, very drastic actually. So, you want to make sure that this is at the beginning of the track. So, it affects the whole track from the beginning. Because parent motion is a, it's key framing. So, you have to make sure it put it. I forgot to do that. Because I have a sync cursor locked. Anywho, once you've gotten that, 
Then you're going to close this. And let's see what happens. I'm going to bring it in. Let's um, go ahead and F5 to bring on a new video. Now let's see what this looks like. Um, let's see what this looks like. Now already you can see there's a, a difference just in the way the thumbnails looked. But let's see. Let's see what the preview looks like. Okay, well, that's not very good. But, oh, damn it, come on. Let's go back. Okay, now, if we were to see this on a TV set, like if I were to upload it to YouTube or if I could actually send this to my TV, you'd see that it would actually fit inside these little areas here and it wouldn't crop off the screen. So this is probably where most of your problems is coming from. Try to resize the video so that it fits inside these little areas here. Um, Admittedly, I have no idea how that would be done. And, um, and I don't know how that would be done in DVD Architect. How you could do, because I haven't gotten that far yet in DVD Architect. But, yeah, if you can do it at the NLE level, in the editor, try to size everything fits there and that's cool but again keep in mind that uh, most of the time people edit they do it for uh, computers but when you're doing it for a TV especially DVDs and you know you're definitely going to do it to TV you really should use these safe areas to help guide you along um, and the thing about that though is that you can actually set how much of the safe area you know is going to show up on screen you can adjust these by moving them out or moving them in and I forgot how to do that in Vegas but yeah so that's it that, that's it that, that's really it um so uh, try to use these little tips I gave you and see how it works out okay all right, all right well, there it is. All right, okay, well, that's it. See ya. Uh, hello, Camtasia. Wake up.